Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review The Secrets We Keep, uh, the third film directed by Yuval Adler, uh, which will be available on digital on demand, courtesy of Bleecker Street, on September 18th, 2020. Uh, so this is a 1959 set tale, uh, some, some lovely suburban uh, anywhere USA, as written by Ryan Covington. Uh, it stars Numi Rapas as Maya, uh, who is of Romanian descent. She met her husband, an American doctor, Louis, played by Chris Messina in a Greek hospital. Uh, they seem to have, they have a, a young boy, uh, kind of have a picture-perfect life. Uh, she works in the doctor's office. And one day he asks her to do some errands, and while she's at the laundromat, she sees a man that stops her in her tracks. Uh, she ends up following him home. Uh, she ends up going to the hardware store and buying some interesting instruments, and then uh, follows him to work and hits him on the head with a hammer as he's leaving work, and takes him to a ditch that she's driven in the middle, or uh, a hole in the ditch she's uh, created in the middle of nowhere as if she's going to kill him, and she can't. Uh, she takes him home, he's in the trunk of her car, and then she finally tells her husband, look, I was in a concentration camp for two years, I had a sister, She, uh, we were raped, she was murdered, uh, and the man that did that is <laughs> in the trunk of my car. And uh, thus begins a story that is very uh, similar to uh, Ariel Dorfman's famous play, Death and the Maiden, uh, which of course was made into a Roman Polanski film starring Sigourney Weaver. Uh, it also has some interesting comparisons to another new Mira Paz film called Angel of Mine, also based on a true story and an adaptation of a French uh, film uh, in which she stars as a mother who she believes her child died in a hospital fire but was actually abducted by another mother. Uh, and years later she sees the child and is convinced that was her son. So some interesting similarities. Um, the man uh, who she believes uh, is her, uh, the perpetrator, uh, she knows him as Carl, is played by Joel Kinnaman. Uh, so he's held hostage in her basement as they're going back and forth about getting him to admit it. Uh, and she does have some uh, additional interesting reasons for wanting to know uh, not only he is who he says he is, but what else might have happened that night that is pertinent for her to know. Uh, also of note, uh, Kinnaman and Rapace also starred in Daniel Espinosa's Child 44, in which they played Russians uh, speaking an accented English, which is a film worth checking out, actually. Um, it's set in 1959, which we get from the, like, the marquee, the film is playing North by Northwest, um, and this film does have interesting Hitchcockian elements to it. Uh, but what another film reference in, in it, uh, a child is taken to see Sleeping Beauty I thought was interesting because here's this woman uh, who hasn't who's who's been kind of asleep for 15 years she hasn't been allowed to admit what has happened to her the trauma that has informed her uh, you know severe psychological problems uh, and here's this kind of package comes back a kiss if you will to wake her up and uh, out of that uh, which I found kind of interesting uh, I, I'd say I haven't seen Yuval Adler's debut, Bethlehem, uh, but in his second film, The Operative, starring Diane Kruger as a uh, recruited Mossad agent, is kind of standard and by the books. So even though this is very familiar to other notable films, uh, it was very interesting. Numi Rapaz does uh, some very uh, good work here. Chris Messina, also pretty solid. Uh, Amy Simons plays Joel Kinnaman's wife who's looking for him. Uh, she's also a, a nice, solid element uh, as well. Uh, although the flashback sequences do kind of distract and take one out of it. As in Death and the Maiden, we only really have the protagonist's word to go on. and I, To me, that's all you really need here as well. Uh, overall, I would give this 3 out of 5 stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.